Back on the show floor now with Ramon Russell, the community manager for the MLB series. Every year we come out with an MLB game and then this guy steps in front and then what we do is... Um... <laughs> Ramon Russell's joining me on the show floor of CES. You guys are making some pretty significant changes beginning with the control scheme. One of our major goals this year was to give you a brand new way to play the game. And we've done that with our pure analog control scheme. And now we have pure analog pitching, pure analog fielding, and pure analog hitting. And they're really, really interactive. They're really dynamic. They use the right analog stick. And it's just another way to play the game. And if you're a fan of the old control schemes, that's fine, because they're still in there. And they still receive some programmer AI love. So you, we haven't forgot about you as well. Then there's also the move control is going to be integrated somehow into, into yeah, MLB so we as well. Move, uh, we have move and home run derby, and you can use move and 3D in home run derby to really get a nice effect. So you can see the balls jumping up off the screen and you can swing. So one of the things I'm most excited about, because I love the game and I'm not very good at it, is the co-op feature. So co-op this year we have uh, one versus two. We have two versus two, and we have two versus the computer. So if four of us are at home playing, we can both jump in a co-op and play a game. And we can decide on who, what, who has what role. So let's say you want to pitch the whole game, that's fine. Or we can alternate pitching between innings. Our batters pretty much will always alternate unless you choose otherwise, and we can split up the fielding. You've actually got a role now. There's some new features with MLB that is going to keep people coming back from week to week. Tell us a little bit about exactly. that. Exactly. So one of our really, really exciting new features this year is Challenge of the Week. And Challenge of the Week uh, came to us. We looked at old school arcade games, and we thought of a mode that fit an old school arcade game. It's online. You jump in. It's two to three minutes. We give you one free try each week. Every subsequent try is a quarter, just like an old school arcade game. And the purpose of this mode is to be the number one at the top of the leaderboards when the week rolls over. So if you're number one, what do you win? Well, you win prizes, and you don't win virtual prizes. You win real, tangible prizes. So we have this limited edition baseball controller. Uh, it'll be in stores March 8th with the game, and it's $54.99. If you're a baseball fan, you pretty much need to own this. And I think that goes for all of MLB 11, the show. So thanks very much, Ramon, for telling us all about it here at CES.